Boom, what up, Solar Renekton only here back doing some more League of Legends action. Did he start W? Okay, big brain. I like it. There you go. Massive leash form. And his W comes back up again. It's definitely slower than going Q though. For sure slower. Maybe he finishes a slightly higher in HP, but I don't if you say so. <laughs> Alright, so we're playing a Mord versus Maokai. Two champs you don't really see too much in top lane anymore. Hopefully they'll both make a resurgence next season. Specifically like tanks and like tank killers, right? Like Mord does pretty decent against tanks. And then obviously Maokai is a tank. Kaplop. Hit him with an auto. So a little about Mord if you don't know. When he gets three auto attacks or three abilities, mainly you do like one ability. Or sorry, two abilities and one auto attack. But any combination of the three. You do three hits, you get your passive, which gives you movement speed and a bunch of AoE damage in a circle around you. Your Q is this. Boop. It's a smash right in front of you. Your E is that. It's a grab. They can aim kind of all different ways. I'll show you some cool ways to do it. Oh, I like that you can just Q straight through his knockback animation and not get knocked back. It's actually kind of really good. And then right here... We get level three. Level three gives us our W, our W is a shield, and then also this gray bar that you see under here. As we do damage, we build that, and take damage, we build up that gray bar, and that's basically our shield bar. We can activate it and get a big shield, and then we can later consume that shield and get HP back, which is decent, but. Ooh. Good dodge, bud. The w dodge. The only outplay you can make on that champion. Wait, this guy actually started Mana Gem? That's wild. I think he thought he was going to have like a free matchup, I guess. He has not been farming well. Or maybe he thought he needed it. I don't know. So there's that passive right there. Press a W. Don't know exactly what he's doing. Literally one hit. When my Q comes up, I might make a flash play. Flash Q him. I don't think I kill though. Oh, now I do. He's playing like his jungler is coming. Trying to sneak in this bush. Oh, I wonder if I should hesitate when I do my Q. Because if I do it just like a half a second later, he won't be able to dodge it. Like he'll do his W, but I'll just basically be waiting out his, that little animation time. I wouldn't be surprised if he TP's back. Would be annoying. All right, cool. Well, I just meant on the wave. Um, so I probably want to go Leandris against this guy first. What are you building? Oh wow, okay. Interesting. Let me grab this in a pink. If I can get one of these, I will. Cool. Not necessary, but I'll take it. Beautiful. Let's go and try and find some more poke. We're up 10, 11 CS right now. Pretty damn good. So, good attempt at dodging, but still crushed him there. Obviously, I just walk away here. Cool. I flash. Oh, imagine if I survived that shit too. I'll take it. Two for one. Can we get like an infernal or something? I just killed everybody. Maybe didn't have to go that ham for this guy. Killing one might have been fine. Eh, I'm, I'm aggressive. All right, I'm a little aggressive. Did we just play the game before this? I was trying to record. I was playing against Horn, and he just did nothing. Like he didn't even trade. So I might be playing a little aggressive just because I was so bored from last game. Like it was, a, it would have been like an okay commentary, like commentary wise, but it would have been an awful gameplay. Like I literally did nothing in lane. It was just like, all right, we're farming. I'm up 40 CS, but who cares? You know what I mean? Oh boy. Um. I think both of them flashed, right? 
So much of that play was keeping my passive on, by the way. I don't know if I made that clear during it. That's why I flash forward so I could get another hit and stay in combat. Because it keeps my passive. My, again, my passive is movement speed moving toward them. Oh my god, that was so bad. Okay, don't look. It's movement speed more, moving toward them and then big AoE damage. So you saw when I went on them, I immediately started hitting uh, Warwick. Because I knew the other guy's just going to die to my AoE damage. Oh, his jungle's here. Right? Uh, take that. Oh, I couldn't get the hit. It's all good. Just walk away here. The one good thing for him is he'll always be useful in team fights. Because look at his teammate. He's got a Yasuo. So he'll always be quite helpful. I mean, my jungler should honestly just be diving top over and over again. I could get so fed. It's all good, though. He's going to try and make a play bot lane. Hopefully he can do it. Beautiful. He just laid on it. I'm making the read now. There's the passive. You can see the stacks up here, right under the gray bar. Again, refresh it. Beautiful. Going to W. Get that heal. Huh. An award. Does he get the extra attack speed on wards too? That ward got to... When the ward had only one charge left, he autoed really fast. It's below 50%, right? So you get the increased attack speed. Does it work on wards? That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. Alright. Warwick is a god at clearing wards, apparently. Wardwick, maybe. Interesting. Um, what the fuck? He just ulted. I think he's just trying to back and I should push because of that. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. He ulted for 2 CS. Um, I'm gonna get one plate. Your shield will decay, that's why I keep activating it in these like lulls. Where there's not a lot going on, right? Might as well just use the shield activate to get the extra bit of HP. Now the HP conversion is always less, right? So it's always better to, to try and use the value of the shield, right? The shield's much better than using the heal. But if it's going to wear off, you might as well just pop it. Oh, what? No, no, okay. The wrong item hovered. 77 to 48, we're smoking this guy. Going pretty well so far. Um, okay. Should be fine. I wonder if you could go in. If he doesn't have ultimate, you probably could. <clears throat> Alright, let's roll. Misclick? Maybe. I, mean, I think he did it literally to clear him back. Because he went back to base. I think he might have thought it was going to be a little bit better than it was. but I'll be catching with EB all in. But I think he's just going to run away. All right, cool. Got all the farm. Pop the heal real quick. Is this play just to like keep pressing E? Because that's definitely not going to work. You used to be able to do that with old Maokai, but now it doesn't do the damage when it lands, which is pretty important. Because you basically have to time it perfectly so that the explosion works correctly for you. <clears throat> and you just walk at him. He tried to ult for the cannon. And he got denied. What I can do here is just freeze the wave. There's no real incentive for me to push. Outside of making like a teleport play. Every time he throws E, it just hurts him a little bit more. Ooh. Looking for the plays. Let me just pop shield. Walk the wave back. I do have teleport. Do you actually go back here? Nope, just gonna keep pushing. By trying to. He he really can't just reset this. It's it's too hard. He has to like actually all in fight me and I beat him, obviously. So he will not all in fight me, so I'm just gonna keep extending my CS lead. I'm up 30 now. I'm up 30 with a bunch of extra CS being here. This makes it even more. Definitely don't wanna eat that. 
I'm getting a little risky now. Let's just go ham on that. Oh, I missed! Oh! Alright. Definitely shouldn't have gone that hard, but... Or it shouldn't have been that hard, rather, but... Hey, I'll take it. How have we not gotten this yet? There's an Infernal on the map for this entire game. What's going on? We're not playing around top, and we're not playing around Infernal. What are we playing around? Interesting. Alright. He has no TP. I have my TP. And Infernal is available. Let's go, baby. I think I'm just going to get Spellpin Boots here. Feeling pretty strong. Grab this as well. Run back top. Teleport if I have to. Got a free flash too? Yeah. I was already autoing. He can't flash an auto. As long as I don't like misclick or something. Ward in the back. Get the, get the ward in the back. We're not just going to clear the ward that's in the pit? I don't... Okay. Not sure I understand that one, but... Because now he's in a ward doing this. I have to push, because I might have to teleport. I'm nervous that he's just going to get fought. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, it all worked out. Perfect. It all worked out in the end. Okay, we got the Infernal. <laughs> Boom! What up? Oh my goodness, dude. This man is getting torn up now. He doesn't have an answer. He's building fucking Ludens, bro. He's doing an AP build. He's crazy. He's crazy. At least in trying to make a play. I've done this exact build before. <laughs> it can work, but it, you have to play with the... Like, you have to play off the bushes a lot more than he is. And then this matchup's really bad for that build, too. And I think I went Leandry's first with it. Trying to get as much percent HP as I could. I think it's better than what he's doing. Dude, look at his items. Dive the shit non-stop. You just literally walk- it doesn't matter, dude. You just walk in and one-shot him. Lee Sin kills him by himself. That's what I mean, like I don't even have to do anything. Shield me. Easy. This fizz spam pinging. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Be quiet, dude. It's an AP Maokai. Come and kill the guy. Jesus. We have a six kill Lee Sin and I'm fed as fuck. Let's just get this guy dead. It's so easy to snowball on him. That's what you have to identify. Whoops. You have to identify the weak points of the enemy team. And the strength in your team. What's the strength in our team? Jungle is ridiculously strong. He does so much damage. Okay. This guy is ridiculously weak. And then I'm pretty strong too. You know, I got two of these kills afterwards. So it's, you know, before. You have to think of me with two kills. But still. Um, I think I just want to go like this, man. How does he get away from me after this? Feels pretty good. Alright. Like, these kills are nice. But we got to get it. We got to get objectives. That's why I was spam ping Infernal. Like, you have all these kills and this pressure. You gotta translate that into something else. You know, we got all these kills and this pressure. Let's translate that to me getting all these kills and me having all that pressure. And now we have the top lane shoved out and now we can use our pressure and we can get Rift. Then we can use that pressure and take mid. Then we use that pressure and I rotate bot and they group up. Like, this is how the game works. 
you need to snowball advantages like that. It's not, oh, all right, I have six kills. Let's see if I can get seven. All right, I got seven kills. Let's see if I can get eight. All right, I got eight kills. Oh, I died. Now my kills don't matter. I gave a giant shot down. I might teleport here. No. Oh, God. Thank you. You keep chasing that. If I hit that, I go. Alright, good. Oh, I missed! Oh, I missed that QE so fast. I trolled. Yeah, if I hit that first Q, I was going to commit for it. If not, I was just going to walk out. We can just keep pressuring here. Look at this. What did I say? We use that mid. We use that top pressure. And me and Lee being ahead, we rotate that on the map. We can go get this. We got this coming up soon too. Oh baby, we can just do it all. I think I actually want to back and go for Infernal. It's gonna be more important if I do this first. By the time, by the time this is dead, Infernal will basically be back up. So I don't really want to do that. Go like this. Go like this. Uh, reason stopwatch is good and Zanya's later on once we upgrade it. Uh, we still get our. I always call it the W. It, the old W used to be that circle from a passive. That's what the old W on Lord used to be before the rework. So I always call it that, but it's the passive. Uh, we get all that AOE damage, which is 80. Look at that. That's the extra on-hit damage. 81 from each auto attack. Mord's basic auto attacks also deal 40% of his ability power, and then we're getting 9% movement speed and 4% of the enemy's max HP plus 72 damage. Oh, hello. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, I missed, dude! Oh, that guy's going in. Bro, that sucked. I really need my passive. <laughs> I can't get my passive. There it is, finally. Oh, he still had ultimate after all that? What the f- Okay. Oh, that went extremely bad. But okay. I just couldn't get my passive up. That was really painful. So I was just running around extremely slow. I hit two people and then my stacks would fall off. I hit two things and my stacks would fall off. I hit two things and my stacks would fall off. They were just kiting me all over. You couldn't stop them. Painful. I have Rallies too. I just couldn't get the, the speed buff. I really needed the movement speed. Alright. Gonna go for my Zanya's upgrade next. I got stuck going for poor targets. Pretty lame. Ooh. And he also just got triple kill, so he's super fed now. So we kind of just threw our lead pretty badly. And they got Infernal. Yeah, we probably should have just set that up way slower. Lee Sin like went in, got feared or something. Yeah, he got feared and then just died. <laughs> I don't know. Rough. I don't really have that much to do. I don't necessarily want to sit in top lane. Because I am a slow champion. And the best thing to do would be these two people group up with the team. And then I go split. So we have 4 1. We definitely stay here. Yeah. So good for us. Yeah. So good for us. Look at them! I told you. Keep diving me, bro. This is gonna work. Your team just got aced. Yep. Here. Here. I didn't have to walk around. I could have just stayed on that side. What am I doing? Taking a scenic journey through the jungle. What a beautiful forest. To our left, we have double golems. To our right, we have red buff. Hello, Mr. Red Buff. Ooh, just going for the YOLO E. It's only a 10 second cooldown right now, so it's not too bad. I think we want to bail on that. Oh boy, this makes me scared. 
Oh yeah. What a goofball. <laughs> what a goofball. I have shield still. We gotta run though. Woo! I flash Q. <gasps> no, 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 yeah, yeah, don't, don't wanna be there, don't wanna be there. You can just E off the wave, yeah, yeah. They have to be careful. Hello, Mr. Red Buff. How you doing? Wanna be up here now? He has to ult. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say he has to ult or he's just gonna die. He chose death. I shall oblige. <laughs> Alright. Let's just wait 20 gold and grab this. I could sell Dorans and get like double pinks. It's actually way better. Okay. Yeah, it's way better. Alright. Maybe not double pink, but be good. He's actually Red Brambleback. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know his actual name. We're on a more personal term, friend, okay? So I just call him Red Buff. That's what his friends call him. Maybe you know him as Red Brambleback or whatever, but I just know him as a Red Buff, okay? Definitely want to try and look for something here. Oh. That guy is dead. We just walk and do it. We just walk and do it. Come, 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 come. It's very easy. They can't stop this. Beautiful. It should be free, then we can rock right down mid. Uh, I have teleport up, so I could split here, but I think it's better just to be with the team. I have flash as well, so I just want to flash onto somebody and look to make a play if I can. Malkai has no armor? Yeah, Malkai has nothing. He went full AP build. Ooh, that's good. Ah, smart play, dude. I was trying to, I didn't want to throw it too early. Like, he was in range the whole time, but I didn't want to throw it too early. I want to wait for him to get knocked up and pair him up together. Ooh. Big play, baby. They tried to engage on me. I disengaged that really easy. I aggro. Dropped it. I walk up here. He's one. Die. Bye. Shield. Walk out. Beautiful. Easy peasy, boys. Baron buff this. End the game. That stopwatch too good, man. Lasagna's. Too good, baby. Too good. I mean, I hope we get back into the tank meta. There's so many bruises I actually want to play, but you don't get to really play them because everything is super range heavy focus in top lane. You can definitely play more into a lot of these range champions. It just comes down to if you can land your E. If you miss your E against Vladimir, Ryze, Kennen, blah, 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 name all of them, right? If you miss your E, you're screwed and you're going to get poked and harassed and it's going to be really painful. Your saving grace is that your Q has pretty decent range and most of the champions, when they want to hit you, if you time it correctly, it's like right on the edge of their range that they can hit you from. So you still have your Q, but if you're against a range champion, you have to land your E or you're going to have some trouble. That's some damage. That is some damage. I would classify that as being number one in damage. Anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you're watching over on YouTube, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content. Definitely head over to the SRO Highlights channel, my second YouTube channel. We're posting the Twitch Rivals event over there and the end of the Challenger grind, which I failed. and Sorry to spoil it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, if you're watching on the live stream right now, make sure to follow the live stream. I stream every single day, 6 a.m. to 12 noon EST. And then you can also click the subscribe button see if you have a free Twitch Prime sub available. Everybody gets a free one sub. And then also, if you have Amazon Prime, you can connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. Get Twitch Prime for free. Allowing you to sell once a month in the stream of your choice. And you can pick me. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.